Harvard University, probably the most prestigious school in America and one many other institutions try to emulate, has introduced punishments for students in frats and sororities. If you're in one of these single gender groups, Harvard will not let you get faculty recommendations for certain scholarships or apply for campus leadership positions in recognized student groups or sports teams, except if you join a certain fraternity or sorority consisting largely of black students. Let's take a look. So if you've been tuning into Campus Unmasked these past few months, you might have noticed that I've embarked on a bit of a holy jihad against Harvard University. On my side are truth, justice, and a pinch of snark and sass. On Harvard's side, well, affirmative action, rescinding applications for offensive memes, and an all-out attack on students' freedom of association. You see, fraternities and sororities at Harvard University have been shutting down and going co-ed because of a new policy that strips students belonging to single gender groups of their ability to get faculty recommendations for prestigious scholarships and their ability to apply for campus leadership positions. But there are still two single gender groups that Harvard students can join without getting punished. Those are Sorority Alpha Kappa Alpha and Fraternity Alpha Phi Alpha, organizations which, while open respectively to women and men of any race, consist largely of black women and men. Now, here's the catch. It's not that Harvard is discriminating in favor of blacks. The school might actually be discriminating against Asians, but that's something we'll get to in a moment. No, Harvard told me that the sanctions are not applicable in this case because the groups are not comprised primarily of Harvard College students. You see, the two Greek organizations span multiple colleges. Alpha Kappa Alpha includes Harvard, Wellesley, and MIT students, whereas Alpha Phi Alpha is open to Harvard, Tufts, and MIT students. Still, that doesn't seem very fair. It should be either everyone gets freedom of association without consequences or no one does, right? But this isn't the only confusing action that cultural Marxism has caused Harvard to take. As I alluded to earlier, the school rescinded admission offers for 10 students who, in a private Facebook group, shared pictures and messages that Harvard deemed offensive. The school is also in hot water for allegedly discriminating against Asian American applicants on the basis of their personality. That case will go to court in less than a couple of weeks, so stay tuned. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.